what's popping y'all all right so let's get started um first i'm just going to be brushing my brows in the direction that i want them to go using my elf cosmetics brow brush all right so now i'm using my gabriella eyeliner pencil in the shade dark brown and i'm going to be taking this pencil and outlining my brows so basically just making the shape that i want my brows to be um, I really love this eyeliner pencil and it's very inexpensive. Got it for 99 cents at my local beauty supply store. So next, I'm going to be using my Anastasia La Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Cosmetics Angle Brush to apply that dip brow. Um, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow is just to fill in the brows. And here you see I'm just brushing out my brows with my spoolie just to get those harsh lines out to make it look more natural. So here I'm using my Sante 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm using my e.l.f. Cosmetics Smudge Brush to apply that concealer and foundation. And this is just to clean up my brows. So on the top of my brows, I'm going to be using my NARS Foundation um, in the shade Caracas. Caracas I'm not really sure how you say it but that's the color that I'm using I'm using that on the top of my brows um, only because I don't want that bright looking look on the top of my brows if that makes sense I want it to look really natural and blend in After applying that concealer and foundation, I'm just going to be taking my Wet n Wild Cosmetics Blending Brush and I'm just going to be blending everything out. Blend, 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 girl. So here I'm just setting my eye with that Sante 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. And to set it, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Cosmetics Foundation Brush. For my eyeshadow, I'm using my Magic Collection 12 color eyeshadow palette using my e.l.f. Cosmetics crease brush and I'm going to go in the corner of my eye and pack in that lime green shadow and then next to the green shadow, I'm going to be using this blue and I'm just going to pack that color on. Going back into that palette, I'm just going to take that fuchsia color and put it on the outer corner of my eye and we're still packing on those colors so to cut my crease I'm going to be using my NYX cosmetics white eyeshadow base and I'm going to be going in with that same brush that I used to apply my concealer and I'm just going to put it on my lid to start and then you'll see me look up and roll my eye a little bit that's just basically to get a starting point of where my crease is at that helps me if you really can't find your crease and that just gives you an outline of where to start and where to begin so here I'm going in with my Nika K Perfect 10 Colors palette using that white shade and I'm going to be filling in the inner corner of my eye. And then next I'm going to be putting that blue back in and going back in with that fuchsia to finish out the whole lid. So on this eye I'm going back in with my Magic Collection palette and I'm going to be packing on the colors yellow, red, and orange. And then I'm going to continue with cutting my crease. And then just as I did on my other eye with that Nika K palette, I'm going to be going in with that white shade again, filling in the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take the red and the orange to fill out the rest of my lid. Alright, so to get that glitter crease, I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses Cosmetics Bling Eyeliner to cut my crease again, should you say? 
So I'm basically just outlining the crease that I already made with the glitter liner. I had to take my time on these parts, you guys. I'm still working on cutting my crease, but I think it came out pretty nice. To line my eyes, I'm going to be taking my Tattoo Matte Eyeliner Pen in the shade Jet Black to line my eyes. It's going to be a baby wing, not too much of a dramatic wing, just a baby wing. Next, I'm going to be applying my lashes from the Instagrammer Arrogant Beauty. I really, really love these lashes. You guys go check her out. Alright, so now I'm going back in with my spoolie just to brush out my brows to make them look more natural. I always almost forget to do this part. And here I'm going back in with my Sante 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation um, just to give my brows a little bit of a cleaner, more defined look after all of that brushing. So now I'm going in with my NARS Radiance Primer and I'm going to rub that all over my face. And I'm going in with my NARS foundation in the shade Caracas. And I'm going to apply that with my hands as well. Rub that all the way in. And then I'm going in with my Sante 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation for my highlights. And I will be using my Black Opal Concealer Stick in the shade Bronze for my contour. And to prep for my conceal and contour, I'm just going to be taking my Magic Collection Rose Water. And I'm going to spray my little beauty sponge blending thing here. And I'm just going to go in and blend out that contour and that concealer. So next, I'm going to be going in with one of my most favorite palettes, Park Avenue Princess by Tarte Cosmetics. And I'm going in with the shade Halo to set my concealer. I'm also going in with my Wet n Wild Cosmetics Precision Foundation Brush and going back into that Park Avenue Princess palette in the shade Angle to set my contour. And here you see me setting my smile lines and my pores with Mary Kay Perfect Powder Loose Powder. So now I'm spraying my face with my Magic Collection Rose Water and setting my face with my Urban Decay Cosmetics All Nighter Setting Spray. Now I'm using my Turn On Gold Highlighter Highlights from Bare Minerals and I'm going to be using my Magic Collection Fan Brush to highlight my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose. Okay, so this part is optional. I'm just blending in that highlight with my sponge. And then I'm going back in with that Nika K palette using that white shade and just putting a little bit in the corner of my eye. Okay, so for my lips, I will be using Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick in the shades Beat Me and Lilac. So Beat Me is the first color that I'm putting on and then I'll be putting Lilac on in the middle to create that nice ombre effect. And that is the end of this tutorial, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications.